Um, right, let's start with some. You know what? I had a poem here. This is actually from a contemporary. I really do like his style. This is Tahzib Hafi. And Hafi is from the um from the the Islamic mystic of of classical times. Um I take it there's a nisba, there's a but it means in Arabic to be kind of barefooted, lahafi, like in the hadith about people being risen, hufatan, uratan, you know, in a state of um shoeless or barefooted and naked. But there's you know, there's a um there's an added, I guess, maybe I don't know, maybe like an intimacy or a vulnerability with being barefooted and a naturalness. So when a person says that, it 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 kind of evokes a narrative within the subconscious. So yeah, and his poetry is very it's interesting because it's it's powerful, but very it has a very natural kind of style to it. No takalluf, no sophistry, no kind of incredibly difficult words and things like that. It's really aimed at the common person. And he says, uh, right. So I chose this one. I th I may have a good while back, maybe a few years back, read it previously. So rehenge ke jagte rehenge. Ham tere khab dekhte rehenge. Wow that whether we will be awake or asleep, we will continue to see you in a dreamful state. Says you will remain in perpetual pursuit for us somewhere else. All the while we will be blossoming somewhere else. <laughs> Rah giro ne rah badalni hai. Pair apni jaga khare rehenge. Wow. You know, this, this ties into the journey must go on as well. Because what he's saying is, Rah giro ne rah badalni hai. That if you're, let's say you're, you've got a path, a trodden path, which in Arabic, classically, the term muatta, means the trodden path. So you're on this path, but along the way there's a tree, right dead in the middle of this path. He says, Rah girone, rah badalni. You have to circumvent and swerve and go around the tree. Per apni jaga kare <laughs> You see, the tree will just remain exactly where it is and and it's it's also astonishing and beautiful that the the trope the usage of tree because the impediment now he could have said i'm just saying he could have said a rock was there and you have to go around the rock you see but in a tree a tree is somewhat sacred almost. It is deeply rooted in Mother Earth itself. And it may, it may become an obstacle. It may appear as an obstacle. And you have to navigate around such impediments and obstacles in life. But that obstacle, that perceived somewhat of an obstacle is in many ways a source of life, a source of fruit. A, it's actually providing the oxygen <laughs> by which we live. So, and yet from a relational object, object relational perspective, it is an impediment. It's blocking the way. But it ain't going anywhere. 
<laughs> Maybe part of its lesson is to teach you how to go around. You see, that, that's also a lesson in life. See, this that all seasons are really in your grasp. If you want, we will remain forever green. And in many ways, that's, I guess it could be speaking amongst a number of things, maybe about relationships, maybe about the magic in being connected to someone. And that remains alive, just like a plant. If it meets the season, if it's being watered and fed and receiving sunlight, so in many ways, because when people, I guess the world for us really is in our minds. And we choose at times to cut people out. And that too is necessary. <laughs> and we may choose to keep, and that too is necessary. And we choose to focus, and that too is necessary. Lotna kab hai tune par tujko? Adatan hi pukarte Wow. Lotna kab hai tune par tujko? Adatan hi pukarte That you're not going to come back. I recognize that. Adatan hi pukarte But as a ritual, we will continue to call out to you. See, just unpacking that has so much in it. On one hand, the poet has accepted fate. Because in life, at some sometimes, there are maybe certain things are just not to be, or there's an insurmountable challenge that cannot be, let's say, and a person must come back to the drawing board, reassess, and then maybe set his sight or her sight on a different goal. And that happens in life, that happens in business, that happens in projects, in personal pursuits. It happens in many things, it happens in relationships, it happens with wealth, it happens with just ambition. That sometimes maybe it's not destiny. Maybe this project that you invested this time in, it, it failed. But that this has failed, I've accepted my destiny, the poet says. Yet life still needs a belief, a narrative to keep going, for the journey to go on. There must be a story and a belief in there. So it's it's powerful how he, this line of his is so powerful that I accept it, that you're gone, but even the illusion <laughs> will still help me to get by. That's so profound, so profound. Doesn't... Um, Sagar Siddiqui Saab have a poem where he says, uh, uh, but the second line of it is where he's speaking, uh, he says, um, Kitni haki katehe oham ke saab. That he says, how many realities only exist on the back of an illusion? And in many ways, that's our world, because our world is a is an is a psychosocial world. 
built on psychosocial entities that exist within our minds. It's from every, from most things you can imagine or possibly maybe I, I, it's so difficult to even separate how much of this world is just in our minds if you think about it everything to ideas to concepts to qualia to you know sound to taste to smell to laws to rights human rights to concepts to countries to nationalities to Every, everything, <laughs> all of what I'm saying is just a figment of our psychosocial reality. It doesn't actually exist in the non-human world. So, Tujko paane mein masala ye hai, Tujko khone ke vasvase rehenge. Wow, you know, I have to say, Tahzeeb Hafi Saab, he kills it, honestly. Tujko paane mein masala ye hai. Tujko khone ke vasvase rehenge. That is so beautiful, I have to say. He says that, you see, the problem with attaining you, with actually achieving you, having you, as in, as a triumph, like having achieved. So he's speaking about, let's say, who he loves. But this could equally be about a goal. It could equally be about an ambition. It could equally be about a, a kind of trajectory, a destination. That you see, when a person achieves something, that tujko paane mein, tujko paane mein, he says, tujko paane mein masala ye hai, that this is the problem with attaining you. Tujko khone ke vasvase rehe. I will forever be plagued with the OCD thoughts of losing you. <laughs> wow, that in a nutshell is human existence. Wow. That line, you know, that stanza sums up the human plight in just a few words, right? Honestly, tujko paane mein masala ye hai, tujko khone ke vasvase rehe. Insan in this struggle of perpetuity, that this non-stop, continuous journey of obtaining and then the, the ambition to achieve and the fear of losing. <laughs> it's just, a, you know, one could say in many ways that binary is when you extend it out, it's good versus evil versus the the angelic versus the demonic versus it's everything, isn't it? That attaining and fear of lose fear and hope. Wow. Tu idhar dek mujh se baatein kar. Yar chashme tu phootte rehenge. He says that look here and talk to me. That these springs and fountains will keep, you know, they'll always be there. Like the landscape will always be there. Let's talk. And that too has a beautiful way of that really, you see, when think about it. Human beings, when describing mesmerizing beauty or just almost sublime beauty, often refer to landscapes because nature embodies um a profound capture of sublime beauty but he's saying here so they presume he, he's drawing he's kind of sketching the scene that they must be sitting at some scenic landscape and there's maybe fountains and springs and all sorts and he says that hey tu idhar dek. <laughs> that, look over here like forget about that that look over here that talk instead. That you see that in this communication, and it's not even the words, it's the exercise of engaging 
you know, with via communication that is even more sublime in its beauty than the landscape. Because if you think about it, the landscape, I guess, is it's not exclusively human. But this is an exclusive human feat, isn't it? That yar chashme to put I really did, um, honestly, this this is a profound, so simple, isn't it? That so rehenge ke jagte rehenge, hum tere khab dekhte rehenge, tu kahi or dhundta rehega, hum kahi or hi khile rehenge, rah giro ne rah badalni hai, pair apni jaga khade rehenge, sab hi mosam hai dast ras mein teri, tu ne chaha to hum hare rehenge. लोटना कब है तूने पर तुझको आदतन ही पुकारते रहेंगे तुझको पाने में मसला यह है तुझको खोने के वसवसे रहेंगे तू इधर देख मुझसे बातें कर यार चश्मे तू फूटते रहेंगे वाओ व्हाट अ व्हाट अ पोएम 